And I think this is a test case for all of us. I think most of us, uh, I mean the DCI and myself, are, are new. Uh, and therefore we are very keen to ensure that the investigations are done, uh, you know, to the satisfaction of, uh, of, of everybody. And, and hopefully uh, that will allow us, allow us to pros prosecute um, adequately. <laughs> we are still investigating. Uh, this, we are, what they are looking into is pending bills. Uh, and uh, I think the, the amount is substantial. Uh, but it, that is something once investigations are complete, uh, we'll bring to the fore. Uh, there might be phases in this uh, in these investigations. Uh, the initial figures might not be uh, f figures that uh, the public think, but the uh, the investigations uh, and the initial figures that might come up are, are initial to allow then more investigations and in-depth analysis uh, and audit. Uh, and this will, uh, will, will require us to bring more skills on board, uh, more than what uh, the DCI can, can provide. So maybe the Auditor General might be involved in later stages and other financial forensic analysis. Uh, and it might include um, for us and the government to look into the IFMIS system itself, because it seems like there is a problem there.